ILC is something we always worry about mammographically because of all the ILCs, about 30% are pure classic. Most are pleomorphic or alveolar or solid or some other st uh, type, subtype of ILC, and those are obvious mammographically. But amongst those that are mammographically potentially occult is 30%. So mammographically you could potentially miss 30% of ILCs. In, in reality, it doesn't miss that many, but it's what we all fear. Thank God, with ultrasound, it's much less of a problem. I would estimate that of that 30%, maybe only one out of six is, is difficult on ultrasound. So perhaps our risk for missing an ILC on ultrasound is maybe 5% instead of potentially 30%. So, it's, you know, I'll tell you right now that we do a lot better than mammography with ILC. But there is that 5%, even on ultrasound, that can still be tricky. Most of the ILCs look like grade two invasive ductal cancers. They look like shadowing discrete masses with thick halos and, you know, markedly hypoechoic. Most ILCs are histologic grade two, so they look just like histologic grade two IDCs. It's really the histologic grade more than anything that causes the sonographic appearance. Of course, ILC is more likely multifocal, so whenever we see something that looks like it could be either grade two ILC or IDC, we, we're very aggressive about looking for multifocal disease, and we often find it, and we are aggressive about looking at the other side. Uh, if we get to that 5% that's subtle, uh, what we have are these single file of tumor cells interspersed between, uh, you know, a collagen fiber or a couple collagen fibers. And so what we get is sort of alternating single file tumor cells and collagen fibers. And what that does is it makes the tissue a little grayer, but at the Cooper's peaks, it tends to cause reflection and refraction of the ultrasound beam.